Hi, my name is Dr. Matthew Weiner and I'd like to introduce you to my website, A Pound of Cure Weight Loss. I'm a weight loss surgeon and I've developed a nutritional plan that can harness some of the hormonal changes we see after weight loss surgery without having to undergo surgery at all. Now, most of us think that weight loss is driven by calorie balance. If we can just exercise enough and eat so little that we can shift the balance toward burning more calories than we consume, then the weight will drop and will solve our weight loss problem. But what we find is that it's a much more complicated problem than that. And our body has this intense desire to protect our fat stores. And what we find is that we all have a weight that we call your set point. And whatever you weigh, whatever your body seems to want to defend, to, to, to maintain as a weight, Whatever you, whenever you lose weight, whatever you bounce back to, that's your set point weight. And what happens is when we starve ourselves, when we reduce our calorie consumption, our body fights back. It doesn't look at this as a favorable change for your health, even though your doctor's telling you that you gotta lose weight and you gotta eat less. It looks at it as a period of, of starvation and famine. And as a result, your hunger increases and your metabolism slows down and if you have ever thought that your body was trying to sabotage your weight loss efforts, you are absolutely correct. So what we see with weight loss surgery, and what is really the holy grail of weight loss, is that we want to lower our set point. So if we're starting out at 250 pounds, and we could somehow magically lower our set point to 175 pounds, our, our set point is here, our body weight is here. What we see is the opposite changes that we normally see when we starve ourselves. What we see is a decrease in your hunger and an increase in your metabolism. Imagine being able to lose weight with your metabolism speeding up and your hunger decreasing. This is what weight loss surgery patients experience in the first year or so after surgery. And by changing your diet, by changing the way you exercise, you can too. What I noticed in my patients and where my nutritional plan came from was that in this first year, when a patient's set point was much lower than their actual body weight, and their hunger was decreased, and their metabolism was increased, and their body was working not to fight against our weight loss, but it was working to drive the weight loss. My patients reported to me that the foods that they preferred had completely changed. I've had patients ask me, are you sure, Dr. Weiner, that you didn't operate on my brain instead of my stomach? And in fact, what we see is when the hormonal shifts occur after surgery, that our body figures out what the right foods to eat. My patients reported to me that they all of a sudden were in love with fruits and vegetables, and they couldn't believe how sweet and delicious the peaches were this year. And they were good, but they were no better than any year in the past. But this year, as their, their body was triggering weight loss, they preferred fruit over refined sugars. They loved beans and nuts and seeds and lean animal protein, a small amount. And what we found is that by looking at the taste changes that occur in a, patient's, um, in a patient after weight loss surgery, that we were identifying the types of food that when our body's working with us to lose weight, it prefers. Our body knows that if we want to lose weight, we should eat fruit, vegetables, nuts, seeds, beans, and a little bit of meat, poultry, or fish. And we should avoid oily and greasy foods. We should avoid junk food and refined sugar and artificial sweeteners and most dairy products. And there's a tremendous amount of clinical research that supports that eating these foods triggers weight loss, that, they're, that patients who are naturally lean naturally eat more of these foods. And by changing our diet to this and using this approach, we can lower our set point and lose weight without our body fighting against it. And that's what my program is based on. It is a lifelong program. This is not something that you can go on for a month or six months or even a year and expect to obtain permanent and durable weight loss. This is a strategy that you can use for eating that avoids hunger and allows you to eat freely, but focuses on eating the foods that trigger weight loss and avoiding the foods that trigger weight gain. And it's as much about what you eat. So much dieting advice is don't eat this, don't eat that. 
Instead, we're gonna talk about all the foods that you should be eating and should be eating lots of them. If you're hungry while you're on my program, you're doing it wrong. Finally, my program is based solely on education. I won't be pushing any shakes or powders or gimmicks or anything like that. This is about you learning about the right way to eat and figuring out how to implement this into your lifestyle. And I've had, at this point, thousands of patients work with this nutritional plan and find lifelong uh, significant weight loss. And I hope that this website helps you to achieve the same.